Hi, Gary Chillingworth here for Air Gun World Magazine, Shooting Country TV, welcome to Life at a Range. Now, some of you may think Gary's in the conservatory. That must mean two things. Number one, his wife isn't here. And number two, he must have a death wish. Well, no, I'm not actually in the conservatory today. I'm at Hogwarts in the Grand Hall. Um, obviously, it's coming up to Christmas. And my wife has done an amazing job. We've got Gryffindor banners. We've got floating candles. We've got Hagrid's hut over in the corner. So yes, this year we're having a Harry Potter themed Christmas. So, yes, you're right. The wife isn't here today. So that is why we are in the conservatory. And it is tipping it down outside. So what are we doing today? Well... We have got the BRK Brocock Ghost. Now, this is an absolutely cracking little rifle. Um, it was sent to me by Tony Belas of Daystate. And you're thinking, well, why are Daystate sending out Brococks? Well, they're a sister company. And if you actually look at this rifle, you'll think, hang on, that looks a hell of a lot like the Delta Wolf and the Alpha Wolf. And you'd be correct. It shares a very, very similar ethos. It's got a solid one-piece construction. And these amazing rifles can go out to 90, so up to around about 95 foot-pounds. Now, this particular gun is in 177, and it's obviously sub-12 foot-pound. But you can get the higher power versions, and within those, you can adjust the power of the rifle. And this gun will actually adjust power as well. As you can see, it's got a side wheel, on the side so you can just down up to 12 foot pounds obviously if you get the, the FAC version you can go much higher Picantini rail which will slide back and forward and on top I've got the uh, MTC swap prismatic cracking little scope and we're going to be doing a video on prismatics very very soon silencer fitted um, it's got the 360 370 cc bottle although you can get a larger bottle for it, and this will give you around about 250 shots. Um, if you get the bigger bottle, I think it's up closer to near 500. Huma regulator, um, over the chronograph, I was getting around about five foot per second variant with just standard pellets straight out the tin. Magazine system, well, if you're an HFT shooter, or if, even if you're just a regular shooter, I'm a big fan, personally, of a single shot adapter. And you can go to PRS, um, who make amazing, uh, great engineer things, and you can buy a single shot adapter in high grade uh, aluminium for this rifle for about 70 pounds, or obviously you can get a 3D version as well. So what else about the Ghost? Well. It's available in 177, 22, 25 and 0.30. Um, match grade trigger, fully adjustable, ambidextrous. You can remove the cocking lever from the right and put it on the left. This uh, cheek piece at the back obviously slides back and forward just by loosening off the two of the two things, but there doesn't seem to be any height adjustment. Um, but I've, in the past, uh, I've like attached neoprene and things like that to push your head up. Or you could always take the Picatinny rail off and you could scope or put the scope directly onto the dovetail. So if you want to get much lower down, that's not really an issue. You just pays your money, it takes your choice. And talking about money, this is around about, I think it starts at around about £1,450. Now, this is the carbine version. You can get different lengths of barrel. Uh, this one is actually fitted with a silencer, which makes this gun only slightly louder than a flatulent sparrow. Um, 
Obviously on the right hand side you've got your pressure gauge and on your left you've got your regulator gauge. So fully adjustable. Well let's get it out on the range. Let's see what it can do at 25 and 40, 45 yards. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take it in the garden, uh, sorry, in the back garden, and we're going to do some supported kneelers and supported standards. Now, part of the reason why I'm really interested in this gun, and it was actually partially due to an email I had from someone the other day. Guns are getting seem to be getting heavier and heavier. And even though weight gives you stability, not everyone can lug a massive heavy gun around. And I've got a couple of issues with my you know, upper body strength at the moment. I, I've got some tennis elbow or something like that. I don't know what's going on. But certainly carrying my spring gun about and some other heavy stuff is it, becoming more and more difficult. So a lightweight compact rifle could very much be the way to go. And I think this one could be really interesting. So let's get out on the range. We'll speak to the fat man and we will see how accurate the BRK Ghost is with the Swap Prismatic. Oi, cheeky so-and-so, I've lost three stone. Fat git. Right, okay, so here we are, 25 yards, Brocock Ghost, BRK Ghost, let's go and fire one off. There we go. Let's see what we can do. Now, the one thing you'll see is even with the butt pad pushed all the way down, you can't rest the rifle on the ground because your pistol grip will be touching. But obviously you could put an aftermarket butt pad on this to give you extra height if that's what you wanted to do. But today we're gonna to be shooting from the, sh from the shoulder. So let's see what kind of groups we can get. Well, not too bad. Oh, that was, sorry, that was entirely me. Part of shooting, well, <laughs> I shoot from the deck. I don't shoot up the, so, up the shoulder. So up the shoulder? I shoot from the deck, not up the peg from the shoulder. So there is a certain amount of wobble, no jokes. But I'll tell you what, let's try resting this in the crook of my arm, see if I can get some more stability. No. This gun is very much wants to be shot from the shoulder. Okay, so. Breathe, hold, shoot, don't suck. Ah, uh, run out of pellets. <sighs> Would help if I actually put some pellets in the thing. Well, it's a good time to talk about the magazine. And actually, one of the main issues in competition in shooting with a, uh, a gun that is uh, magazine fed. You've got to keep on top of where your pellets are in the rifle because if I just would put six in um, if that had been me in competition because I'd air had been discharged from the rifle shots taken you don't get to say oh I need to reload and go again that is it so always make sure you're loaded right it's gonna fire that one off mm. Right, okay, so two more. Last one. Well, I don't think that's a bad, to put the safety on, I don't think that's a bad group at all. Certainly the Brocock Ghost with the Swap Prismatic up the peg 
with a num nut shooting it is absolutely accurate. So now let's push out to 45 yards and see how we go from there. Okay, so 45 yards. Let's put a marker down there. In the middle. Let's see how we go. Well, not too bad. Well, fractionally high, but certainly well within a 35 mil target. And let's not forget, I'm not used to shooting up the peg. And mad respects to anyone. Sorry, did I just say mad respects? Respect to anybody who does this as the way they shoot. Because it is much harder than resting it on the deck. Oh, so that was me. Last one. Okay, well, we've got some good groups there. But tell you what, one thing I would like to do is, I don't know, would that give me a bit of extra height? It's a bit slippery. Tell you what, let's take my glove off. I want to give myself a little bit of extra height at the back of the gun. And let's see if we can shoot this off the deck. Let's go slightly to the right. Well, I would say extend that down because resting off the deck, this thing is an absolute laser. Um, we need to put some air in it now. Um, I would speak to somebody like PRS, Gav Jones, who make a lot of stuff for Day State and Brokock and, and stuff like that, and put one of his amazing uh, uh, butt pads on there. Precision milled, absolutely superb. I'm sure they will fit but speak to Gav or speak to PRS. There are lots of other you know, companies you can go to, but Gav is a shooter making stuff for shooters and top bloke. Um, laser light accuracy, what a piece of kit from a ball pup. Um, that is as good as anything that I've got currently in my arsenal. So let's go and chuck some air in it, and then we're gonna take it onto the other range and we're gonna do some kneeling and some standing and so, actually, maybe not some kneeling. We'll do some standing, some, some supported shots. Um, maybe we'll do a kneeling shot and some unsupported stuff, and let's see how we go. Okay, so we've got a 25 mil out at 30 yards, supported stander. Now, for me, I found the best way to me to get accuracy is put my hand on the tree, push the end of the bottle up against my hand and put my finger almost holding the silencer but as you can see my finger is very very close to the end of the barrel so do not do this I'm an idiot but do not do this or get yourself a longer silencer but for me I found that this works okay but do not do this because you will shoot your finger okay I think that's enough disclaimers
Okay, that is a split, as you can see. Half the pellet on the kill, half the pellet on the plate. But we didn't have enough energy to knock it over. Marshall, can you check that target? Right, let's go again. Solid kill, let's reset. I think we need to hit that again. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my targets live outdoors and I'm the world's worst at looking after them. They do need to be oiled, I just don't do it. And I really should. I think we're gonna to have to do a video on target maintenance and maybe even go to flop over and see how they're made. Okay. And there we go. So it's certainly accurate. Um, the Brocock Ghost. For me, shooting a, a 25 mil at 30 yards, I don't do particularly well with them. But this thing is well balanced, laser accurate. It will certainly help your standards. So let's have a go at a free stander and a free kneeler. I think we'll use a slightly bigger target because I suck. Okay, so here we have a 35 millimeter target at 35 yards. Now I know I joke a lot about sucking, but when it comes to free standards, I really do. Um, I've watched my own video about alignment, 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 and I know the theory, but I've got a few problems with my upper body strength at the moment. Uh, years of martial arts, ligaments broken, duh. Using a heavy gun for me doesn't work. I know a lot of people say you need a heavy gun for stability, but for me, no. Uh, I think the last two or three shoots I've done with my Springer, I've donutted the, the free stander, or it's just been a drive-by. A light gun certainly makes life easier, strength-wise. So let's have a go. If I can get it on the plate, I'm gonna be happy. So, 35 yards. Brocock Ghost. Be nice to kill one once in a while. Well, I hit the paddle. I hit the paddle. Fractionally high. And there we go, four shots, two kills, two plates. For me, I'm gonna take that every day of the week. 100% um, easier for me than with a heavy gun. Um, you've got to pick one up, you've got to try, see if it works for you. But for me, 100%, 100% uh, better. Okay, so, free kneeler. Again, not my finest sh shot, but let's give it a go. Good thing about the, the ghost is all of the weight is at the back, so it makes it incredibly stable. So. Right, I think there's wind out there that I'm not seeing. All right, one more. Four for four. Standards for me, obviously, didn't work. Upper body strength. Free standards, not an issue. And when we jump down on that kneeler, boom, 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 boom. 
Four shots, four kills, 35 yards, 35 mil target. Rapid. You know, I wasn't exactly hanging about with that because of the, the pain in my feet. This is a cracking little rifle. Laser accurate, really well balanced. Um, when I went into this video, part of me was thinking, yeah, this is going to be the gun that's really good for maybe young people, old people, stick shooters. I mean, it does really well with sticks. Um, people with like physical issues. I just think it's a really good gun. It is super accurate. It's as accurate as any other rifle I've got in my arsenal, my HW100s, my HFT 500s. It's just in a much more compact frame. Well, the rain is coming in, so I think it's back into the conservatory. And let's, uh, let's have a chat about what we've found today and where we go from here. Could this be my gun for next year if I don't shoot the TX? There's a good possibility of it. Yeah, very impressed. But let's get back in the warm. Well, there you have it. The Brocock Ghost. Like a laser at 25 yards would kill 15 millimeter targets up the peg every day of the week. Then we pushed it out to 45 yards on a slightly windy day. And again, not an issue at all. You know, we were one whole grouping. Well, not one whole grouping, it was slightly bigger than that. Um, if we drop this further and we were fully able to rest the gun on the deck, then I, I think we would have absolutely stunning accuracy. Not that we didn't have good accuracy anyway. We got it out on the, on the range doing some needless and standards. And as we all know, I absolutely suck when it comes to free standards at the moment. But we did well. I think we got two out of four, which for me is absolutely amazing. Then we did three kneelers. Boom, 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 boom. Four on the trot. Can't argue with that. Supported standards going after the 25 mil targets of 30 yards. Again, not an issue. It's a very, very accurate rifle. If I was a hunter, which I'm not, there would be absolutely no reason why I couldn't take this out of 40 yards and shoot rabbits all day long. It's lightweight, it's compactable, you could put it in a holder. So if you want to go wandering around a permission and you don't want to look like you've got a gun, stick it in a sports bag. Um, it's that small and, and compact. Certainly, if you are a, a smaller person, or you know, if you've got a son or a grandson, or if, if you just like a light rifle, then this could very well be the rifle to go with. Um, I'm genuinely amazed. I've shot a few bullpups in the past and the triggers have never really been that great because of obviously the trigger mechanism is in front of the breech. So there's often like connections and things like that, which makes them not great. But this is one of the first bullpups I've ever shot where the trigger is every bit as good as any full size rifle I've ever shot. I never even once thought about, oh, this is a bit of a shonky trigger, because it's not. It's really crisp. It's, uh, it's got a great first stage, great second stage, and it went off exactly when I wanted it to go off every single time. And even on the standards, I was able to stand there and hold it on the second stage without the risk of it possibly going off with a negligent discharge. It's quiet. As I said, it's got a silencer fitted to it. Um, I definitely think you need the silencer. You need that bit of extra length. Because the one thing I'm, I'm not keen on is the fact that if you're holding there, if you don't have this silencer, if we just take that off. Talk amongst yourselves. Long thread. You are very, very close to the end of the barrel. So I would even be tempted to put a slightly longer silencer on that. Because as we saw, when I was doing my kneeling so my supported standing shots the way I like to shoot my hand was very very close to the end of the barrel but put a longer silencer on there or get the rifle with a slightly longer barrel and that will negate that but that's how I shoot that might not be how you shoot 
Obviously, I love the fact it's got the Picatinny rail, so you could put a laser on it, you could put a light on it, you could put whatever you want on it. You know, um, I'm not a hunter, so I don't really use things like that. Um, the other thing I was really impressed with was this 10 by 30 swap prismatic. Uh, what a cracking little optic. So I think we're actually going to do a video on optics. Well, I think that's about it. It's, it's just a cracking rifle. It's, um, yeah, what a belting little gun. That's, that's, all, that's it. It's a belting little gun. It's a belting brocock little rifle. Um, more than the sum of its parts. You can obviously see where it's taken uh, loads of inspiration from its bigger sisters, its big day state sisters, the Delta and the Alpha Wolf. But I like the mechanical nature of the rifle. But I, I shot the Alpha Wolf a while back absolutely amazing technical technologically superb but i personally just like a air cylinder a valve a trigger and a barrel a lot less to go wrong that's just me i'm maybe i'm a little bit old school and i'm a little bit stuck in my ways but for me this little gun has been an absolute rev revelation on bullpups and i can see why people speak about them a lot so, am I going to shoot it in HFT? Well, I think we've got to go and shoot an HFT competition with it and see how we get along. So, if that is something that you would like me to do, put it in the comments below. Um, right, the reason we say put it in the comments below is the more comments go in, the better the algorithm likes it and the more it pumps it up for people to watch the videos. Um, but I think we're going to have a go with it. Um, that's it. Take care of yourselves. Our next video will be our final one with uh, myself and Mick for this year. Um, all on, I think it's slugs versus bullets versus pellets, which is going to be a fun one, although my chronograph may not agree with it. And then we've got our Christmas video. Uh, once again, we're going to do our Christmas one, which was going to come out on Boxing Day about three o'clock. And that is going to be sub 12 foot pounds at 100 yards with the TX200 and the MTC King Cobra. Take care of yourselves, look after each other, and Avada Kedavra! Yeah, if you're not into Harry Potter, you won't get that reference. Ta-da.